Hello, everybody. Welcome to 1111 Butterfly Effect. Thank you all for joining my divine spirit, the oracles, and I here at the table for today's daily drop, Power of Love message. For you twin flames and soulmates out there, you divine souls traveling down your divine path, navigating your twin flame journey, following your yellow brick road, this message is for you, the person you're thinking of, your journey, your connection, however it apply, applies for you today, this weekend, next week, this daily drop has that much power in it. So grab your drink and sit back with me and let's see what the cards and the oracles of my divine spirit reveal for this daily drop, power of love message. I hope everyone's doing well. We've reached Friday. Yes, it's Friday where I'm at when I'm re laying, dropping these cards down, preparing for the weekend ahead. Let's see what guidance and wisdom my divine spirit and the power of love oracles can offer us up for this daily drop. Power of love message. Yes, people, because choo-choo! The love train is coming around again. So all aboard, people. If you're ready to get on the love train, you have a ticket to ride. So here we go. And have no fear. The love train will be by again. So if you're not ready or near, it's okay. There's still a message here for you. So thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, Power of Love Oracle. Please offer us up some guidance and wisdom for this daily drop. Power of Love message for those out there listening. Bring you into the weekend. Help you get through your Friday. Bring it through next week. However you need to apply it. However it helps you. This is what the daily drops are all about. And yeah, we've mixed up the order a little bit just to throw you off. We, you know, try not to follow routine all the time. You know, monotony can def definitely be the death of many things. So we need to, you know, we should, I definitely mix it up to keep things exciting and new. Right? Because it's always, you know, the same old thing can be boring. It's like I <laughs> said in one of those posts. What was it? <laughs> you know? Uh, something about step away from the salad bar if you want something exciting. You know? If you're tired of the same old stuff, step away from that salad bar. Yeah, here we go. Thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, Power of Love Oracle. Please offer us up some guidance and wisdom for this daily drop. Power of Love message for those out there listening. One more shuffle, and then we'll see what drops. Here we go. Thank you, my divine spirit. Oh, one right out of the chute here. Present. present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the power of love. You know, and being present in the here and now is really key to this journey, okay? To not live in the past for too long, to not worry about the future, because all of that creates worry, anxiety, brings up, you know, emotions, etc. Being in the present moment, living in the now, as Eckhart Tolle says, right? The power of, you know, now. <clears throat> great, um, you know, philosophy there. Being present in the present moment 
is very powerful. Okay? That is a more powerful vibration to to live at, to be at, than to be in the past and, you know, be sad or whatever, melancholy, etc. Or to live in the future and we have worry and anxiety about the unknown. Right? The present can offer calmness. The present can offer, you know, simplicity. Without all that extra excess emotion, right? When you live in the present, you're just worrying about what's right happening right now, you know? So you're leaving behind all that past and future, you know, anxiety and worry. The most difficult lesson for human beings to learn is to live in the present moment. It is part of our nature to look forward to the future and dwell on the past. And unfortunately, it is a mindset that strips us of our power. Like I said, it's a lower vibration to live in the past or worry about, you know, uh, uh, I don't know exactly what word I'm looking for, but hope for the future. And hope is not the right word, but when you, you know, are always thinking about the future and living, thinking about the past, you're losing so much power in your present moment. You're giving the past and the future all your energy. You have no power left for the present moment, right? Make, makes sense? Yeah. Instead, we should be taught to learn from the past, live for today, and hope for tomorrow, right? Only then we are able to glimpse our true mission on earth. Everything else is just static, white noise, right? When you are present in this moment, you are existing where life is actually occurring, where it's happening right here, right now, right here, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't spend valuable time worrying about a crisis that may never come in the future. Of course, look at the grand picture, evaluate your life, and set goals. But don't place unneeded stress and worry where it doesn't belong. It's a waste of energy and your power. Reliving the past is also a fool's game. You have no power there. That's why the rear view mirror in your car is called the rear view mirror. Okay? Because you look behind. Well, the past is behind you. That's where it is. That's where it's stand. You don't need to look behind anymore. Except for when you're driving in the car, right? Yeah, you have no power there other than to diminish the potential of today. In contrast, in the present moment, you have the power to forgive the hurts done to you and apologize for any you have caused. The past becomes a stepping stone to enlightenment as opposed to a speed bump on your road to happiness. Fully appreciate the moment right now and attempt to get the most out of every second. It is when you let go and reside in the present moment that you are able to summon love with every thought and experience. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances, in all your current circumstances, people, place, thing, love, sex, you know, <laughs> I was going to say sex, drugs, and rock and roll, <laughs> but no, that's not where I wanted to go, right? But, uh, you know, body, mind, and soul, right here, living right here and right now in this moment brings forth the energy and the power of love in all of your circumstances. Career, finances, relationships, love life, marriage, whatever it is, however you can apply it to your present circumstances. Because indeed, you know, what's happened in the past is something we learn from. Right? And what's going to happen in the future is something we're going to grow from. Right? Because when you plant a seed in the future, you 
have a grown plant. That's the hope, right? When you plant a seed, the future is to get a plant out of it, a tree. And, they, you know, an acorn turns into a, a big, huge tree, right? Growth. So, living in the present moment is... You know, so very much more powerful than living in the past, looking behind you and not looking in front of you because you'll definitely crash your car. <laughs> you know, if you don't look forward in front of you, if you don't, you know, even it, still look at the grand picture, if you don't zoom in and look at some of those details, you're going to miss some things. Right? When you're so focused on the past or the future, you're going to miss what's right in front of you. Which may indeed affect your future. It may alter your future. Take you off course, off your divine path. Right? You don't want that to happen. No, we don't want that to happen. So... Living in the present moment and, you know, moving forward from there into the unknown. No matter, you know, what is out there, you're going to move forward because when you live in the present moment, you can, you know, that's when your faith comes in. That's when your courage and your strength come into play. That's when, you know, hope becomes your friend, okay, as well as your feelings, right? When you live in the present moment, you are able to bring forth the energy and power of love in all of your circumstances. When you live in the past and you think about the future, you... Set up blocks and obstacles for your present moment experiences, for your present experiences. You set up, you know, yourself to possibly struggle through a circumstance rather than sail through it smoothly. Right? So, living in the present moment, you know, living in the now. Is going to enable you, give you the power to use your gifts, to see the signs that are being sent to you, that your divine guides, source, your angels are sending to you. If you're all worried and stuck in the past, you're going to miss the signs that are being given to you today. If you... You know, all focus, if all your focus is on the future, which it's good, that's about the power of a law of attraction and intention and all that, right? The power of intention. But you still need to be in the present moment. <laughs> yeah, so that you can get to that point. Because this present moment is where all the signs and directions are going to be and the guidance for you to get to that future point, right? If you don't see the signs and follow your guidance and the wisdom and divine direction, then you may be taken off path quite easily. You may be distracted by something shiny on the side of the road. <laughs> You may be wanting to stop the car because you see a rock. <laughs> For all you rock hounds out there. <laughs> yeah. Living in the present moment is really key to get to your future. And living in the present moment allows you to see the past behind you clearly behind you 
so that you don't carry it with you into the future, into the present moment and into the future. You know, I had a tell you this quick story. I had an ex recently come back into my life. And, you know, there had something had happened to this person before we had met. And it really caused a lot of trauma in their life. And 20, 30 years later, you know, this person was still carrying that around. And I said to them, it's time to let that go. That's in the past. You can't let it affect your present and take it into your future. It's had its time. Right? Live in the present moment. That's our daily drop, people. I hope you like what you see in here. If you do, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more daily drops to come and more amazing messages coming through, being channeled by this channel, via this channel, from a divine source, your divine guides, your angels, your ancestors. When you subscribe, when you put your energy into this channel, it allows your angels' messages and uh, wisdom for you to come out. So, I hope you continue to stay tuned. Break ground with us here. And... Uh, Look forward to the mes next message coming out, which will be soon. So until then, take care, stay aware out there, and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.